Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on November 28th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, welcome to the Daily Dew, where I do my best to put out daily reports just like this for you. If you enjoy them, please hit the like button. Looking here at Lasco 2 image, now this is from uh, the 21st up until today, so this is a week's worth of images and a week's worth of solar flares and coronal mass ejections and space weather coming our way as you can see there. But just most recently, our sun exploded a nice flare yesterday. Observing here, 304 angstroms, that large southern tear. But here is the sunspot that flared up, created a large plasma loop. And then observing this very active sunspot region unorganized at that small flares within that as well you can really see the heliosphere affected here by that boom large eruption not earth facing this is the earth facing stuff right here let's hope that it stays semi calm over the next day or so looking here you can see there are no coronal holes earth facing real-time solar wind we are steady at about 400 kilometers per second 423 420 Schumann resonance power of 23 for today still just a hum not quite a buzz but a hum and looking here the last 24 hours for earthquakes most recent here, 4.6, Indonesia, and that is right beside Krakatoa. So please stay tuned. We will be having a volcanic activity report coming tomorrow, and we'll get into exactly what's going on at Krakatoa. Looking at minor earthquakes across the Philippines, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, all 4.6 range. Very interesting, all shallow as well. A lot of plate movement today, zero in BG region, 5.1 there, East Pacific rise. Quiet Central America and South America. Very quiet Puerto Rico, a bit concerning. Last earthquake there, 3.2. Could be on the verge of a larger earthquake coming. We shall see. We're waiting for those deep earthquakes to thrust in first. Looking here, West Coast, there are more earthquakes along the west coast here but not being reported here but USGS is reporting a lot around Los Angeles area today Alaskan Peninsula 4.6 Nikolskoy as well 5.3 Russia that's the largest earthquake in the last 24 hours China 4.3 five here and as well Afghanistan 3.9 and a 4.0 4.8 rocking here today in the East Indian Ocean again East Indian plate there's been a lot of earthquakes here the past seven days as well 4.5 there 5.1 East Atlantic rise Easter Island now a 5.5 went off this week in the Indian plate stay safe my friend at Trues one of the moderators he lives on that tiny island just off the coast there 
That's where all these earthquakes are happening. I forget what the place is called, but I'm giving you a shout out right now. Thanks for tuning in. And looking here, most deepest earthquakes were last week. We've only had two deep earthquakes the last little while, and the largest earthquake the last seven days, 6.1, just north of Antarctica. Stay safe, aware, and prepared, and have a plan, my friends and family, especially along the west coast, Cascadia Fault Line, we're watching. Pacific Disaster Center here, most recent volcanoes, Sabinkaya, Swiss and Najima, Dakono, Fuego, Kluchevskoy, Semeru, Reventador, as well, Luatola, Indonesia, Ibu in Indonesia. That's about nine volcanoes being updated in the past four hours. Very active day for volcanoes. So again, stay tuned. Tomorrow, we'll have the volcanic activity report looking at all the most recent volcanoes active and erupting. This is a pretty active region for volcanoes. Always has been. But it's really increasing recently. Looking at some wildfires here. Queensland, Australia. Landslides in Colombia. Central and Eastern. As well, Alberta experiencing, Northern Alberta experiencing a winter storm. And as well, the Yukon into Alaska, British, Northern British Columbia. Winter storm affecting you guys as well. That is remnants of Cyclone Vamco from the Philippines about two weeks ago. Looking here at a very vigorous Pacific Ocean, large low pressure center moving in for later in the week. Stay tuned to the do. Lots of things are changing. These systems are getting organized. Watch for things to drastically shift here across Eastern Europe. High pressure ridge trying to move in from Russia. Got a Mediterranean low that just swamped Spain, dropped a couple tornadoes. And that's going to be heading into Greece in the next couple days as a big Mediterranean low. Let's get to five day forecast brought to you by Meteo Earth, Meteo Mike, starting out here at Calgary, Alberta, as we've still got a roller coaster of temperatures as those lows are coming in at a more northern latitude along the west coast there. They're all just smashing into Alaska and this is some pretty warm equatorial Pacific moisture so you can see a transition high pressure ridge moving out and as the low comes in the temperature rises and then drops again behind the system high pressure ridge builds in yet again so in our Long Valley volcanic field we still have high pressure ridge Looking at a large low pressure system here affecting northeastern and southeastern United States will be a nor'easter to talk about for sure, bringing a very mi mixed bag of precipitation across Ontario, Quebec, and into the Atlantic provinces. Watch for Alaska to be receiving over 400 centimeters of snow in the next 10 days as these systems keep penetrating the coastline here and dropping tons of snow. Thoughts of prayers going out to everybody there, especially Northern BC. You're going to be experiencing as well about 350 centimeters of snow. Overlooking Central America, low pressure center here developing. Not very organized though. Heavy rains, Peru, Colombia still. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody across Brazil as they had some pretty extreme weather affecting them this week and they are going to be experiencing a lot more this week. Watch for those dark blues and purples. They're going to be bringing some intense extreme weather across Argentina and up into Brazil, Paraguay, Bolivia. Overlooking Africa, not much to talk about except for dry. Most rain that you'll see is in South Africa. 
Observing here over Europe, Mediterranean low. Going to be bringing some stormy conditions and wintry conditions across parts of Eastern Europe. And then watch the United Kingdom later in the forecast. Big low pressure system coming from the north. It's going to bring definitely some nasty weather. Maybe even some winter. We shall see in our next five day forecast. If you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe, share with your friends and family from around the world. I love that you like to stay aware and prepared with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Overlooking Southeast Asia, very dry and cold. Temperatures dropping down to minus 40 in some areas, parts of Eastern Russia. Watch for that Siberian cold polar vortex to come around in the coming weeks. Also watching an area of interest here, possible cyclone development hitting Sri Lanka and southern India in the five day forecast. Stay tuned to see if that forms into a cyclone. Australia, dry and hot. Only moisture moving in parts of southern Australia, southeastern and Tasmania and spotty showers across northwestern territory. Heavy rains across the Philippines and parts of Malaysia, Indonesia. Watch for stormy conditions. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. Much love to you all. I appreciate you watching. Staying aware and prepared with morning dew. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Bye bye. Don't forget to check out dailyeventsworldwide.com where you can get all the latest news and events and share your photos and videos. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.